Yeah. So we should. So what's the fine? Yeah. We're gonna start a bake sale, color. I guess. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not a criminal, I swear to God, I just had alcohol, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you so much, I'm sorry. Thank you, you just gave us a ticket, I'm sorry. Thank you for being kind about it, though. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank <laughs> you. Another heroic night, picking on young ladies, extracting money from the local college students. That's right, justice is being done here in Keene, New Hampshire. How much you guys rake in from those two, huh? What's that, 300 a piece, 200 a piece? Something like that? To make you feel like a hero, making a little girl cry. Feel like you're doing something good for the community. How about you, officer? You proud of what you're doing tonight? What's your name, officer? Don't you have a conscience? I mean, how do you do this? How do you do this stuff, Matt? Making them cry. He made them cry again. Yeah. Made a 17-year-old girl cry. Yeah, you know what's funny? Ian called the NCAA, and they said that the administration's looking into Mr. here being an employee at both places. Hmm. It does they, seem like a conflict really of interest. Like it's a conflict of interest. But according to the PD, it's not. I wonder why that is. Their, their uh, view on, uh, on uh, conflicts of interest is different than 500 companies, Fortune 500 companies. Yeah. They're different than the FBI, New York yeah. PD. So they think they're above all those groups that have been <sighs> longer than them. I hope you can find your conscience someday, Matt. It's pretty shameful what you're doing tonight. Yeah, I don't support that either, sir. They break down the fences in the backyard. The police are all I have. And you give them shit for trying to stop the kids from drinking. I got plenty of space on the car. So what does this accomplish other than making you guys feel good? No, we're focusing on two things. The coercion of uh, coercing kids off their property onto public property and mailing, mailing them for the, uh, the open container clause. We're not, we're not getting involved, I'm not getting involved in anything else other than that, because it, it, it's ridiculous how they coerce somebody off their public property. I mean, where, where does the fine line go? It, as far they, as I'm concerned, anything that stops the consumption of alcohol by college students. Oh, come on, I, I, I served in Iraq and into Afghanistan, four legs in Iraq, five in Afghanistan, next to 18-year-olds that drive tanks, and you're telling me they can't drink. No, I'm not telling you they can't drink. I'm telling you college students shouldn't drink. College students don't join the Army. College students don't well, do anything I, I, sir, I, I was an ensign while I was a freshman. And I was, I was in the U.S. Navy Reserves all four years you're of college. You're an unusual specimen. No, they, they have people that serve, that serve the National Guard that go in here. I've worked at this college for 23 years now, and I haven't met many. Yeah, there's, th there's 13, actually, that, yeah, that uh, which, they're in the out National of Guard. What, 5,000? That's not many. Most of these kids but, just but they're, what's passing, happening? they're passing through Keene and they don't care about the place. Well, they're kids. 
they're, they're going to be unruly and because so there's no no leadership around. So who's you know going to I mean? provide the leadership? They don't yeah, listen to anyone. Yeah, but violating the Fourth Amendment and violating statutes and the, the New Hampshire State Constitution is not the way to do it. You can't break the law while enforcing a town ordinance. It's ridiculous. I cannot, you know, no, there's no cop in the world that has a right to violate your constitutional rights because as soon as they are allowed to do that, they're going to take it for a mile, and then your rights are going to be keep violated. But if you keep having things broken, they're not doing anything anyway, and we should catch them not doing anything about it. I got assaulted four times right there last Friday. Cops watching, and they didn't do anything about it. They don't care about their property. All they care about is revenue. We want to change that. We want them to care about your property. We want them to care about who's running in your backyard and knocking down, you know, sections of fences. My, my aunt lives, my aunt owns property in Norton, Massachusetts, Nor you know, Wheaton College is there. Yeah, I know Wheaton. And she deals with it all the time. I, I, I feel you, trust me, because I'm fixing her fence, like, it seems like every six months. You know, I understand all that. But cops do not have the right to break the law while trying to enforce a, a, a just a regular violation. I agree and with that. And what they're doing is they're harassing young girls that don't know any better, don't know their rights, searching their bags illegally, you know, it, which is a violation of the Fourth Amendment, and it's ridiculous. They break the law all the time, and it needs to stop. And when that integrity level comes up and their standards come up, maybe they'll start looking at your property a lot more. You know what I mean? But that's where I'm coming from. Well, I understand the you know? idea, and I admire the idea. I just don't see it happening. Yeah, because they don't care. They care about revenue. They care more about getting a girl over there than somebody running through your backyard knocking a section of fence down. I'm telling you right now, that's what they care about the most. Well, I highly doubt those teenage girls are going to stop drinking because of what happened tonight. Yeah, that's not going to deter them to stop drinking. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm JP, by the way. Michael. Michael, nice meeting you. You too. Yeah, my buddy Marlon stays here. Oh, yeah, I know Marlon. Yeah, I've known Marlon nice for a long time. He's my buddy. I admire I know. what you we, guys we, we, think you're doing something. Think, you know, it's nice to hear what people when think. When I was growing up, students did things, you know. They didn't sit around and expect something to happen. So I'm glad that you guys at least are, are taking a stand on that. Yeah, well, we're not all here to harass the police. I, I mean, I you might hear me harass him because he does a lot of bad stuff. But you never really, you really hear me do it to other cops. But, you know, I feel you. And if we're out, we'll keep an eye on your property, too. We, we don't like people, you know, we don't like victims. We don't like people, you know, they, they, I mean, his, they, this gentleman right here had a flag stolen off his porch one night. You know, we don't like that to happen. You know? I got a brother who lives in Nashua, and he told me that they were going to lay off a cop during um, a squeeze of finances and decided that they couldn't let him go because he was responsible for 8% of the city's revenue all by himself. <laughs> and I was hoping that he was wrong, Jesus. but now you're making me think maybe he was wrong. Yeah. Hey, we have a good night. And uh, Thanks for the thoughts. Tell, yeah, tell Marlon I said hi. I will definitely